In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create this futuristic hologram effect using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey what's up guys, Drool here and as you can see this is the final output. Now for this tutorial, I will be using this stock photo that I found on deviantart.com and if you want to use the same photograph, the download link is in video description so feel free to use it. So my photo is already open and the first thing I wanna do is go and select my crop tool here and after that I'm gonna make my canvas a little bit bigger from this side and this side so that when we uh, make those zigzag lines we have enough space so after that I'm gonna go and confirm it from here now we need to cut her out from the background so for that go and select your quick selection tool from here uh, and make a rough selection of her and this time uh, you don't have to be accurate at all because we're gonna be blurring out most of it so this is more than enough and after that go and click on your layer mask here this third one so the image is cut out after that go and create a new blank layer from the second last icon and put it under your model layer after that select your paint bucket tool you can right click and select paint bucket after that make sure your color is black here and fill it so the base is ready and select your layer 0 this model layer and we need to make a copy of it so i'm gonna go and press ctrl j so we have a copy now turn off i for this copy layer it's important turn it off and activate your layer 0 here this one now for this layer 0 we need to remove this layer mask so you click here uh, you activate it right click and then you select apply layer mask don't delete select apply layer mask so we have the woman here without mask after that make sure your color are here black and white it's really important you can click on this little icon for that then you go to filter and then you go and select filter gallery and let me put her here and let's zoom out a little bit now in the filter gallery uh, in the sketch menu you have to go and select half tone pattern and in your pattern style you go and change it to the lining so it will look something like this then in the size it totally depends on how bigger lines you want so 5 works really good for me then you go and hit ok now it will look something like this here after that you go to filter menu uh, go to blur and then you go and select motion blur so uh, at first it will look a little bit like this so make sure you take it uh, all the way so it looks something like this uh, so we can zoom it a little bit more uh, yeah so 11, 1200, 1300 is good. Now go and simply hit OK. So it's looking good, but we have a problem. It doesn't cover the entire canvas, right? So go and select your move tool from here and move it on the top, right? Now we need to make a copy of it. So uh, make sure you have selected layer 0, then you press Ctrl J. So we have a copy. Now put this one a little bit downside here. Now make another copy, Ctrl J. Uh, and I'm gonna put this one a little bit here uh, so that looks good now we need to make another copy uh, press ctrl J and put this one here so we have covered the entire area but there is no point of keeping all this four layer so you click on this uh, top layer here in the copy here and then you hold down shift key and you click on layer 0 here this one this way all of them are selected then you go and press ctrl E now if I turn it on and off, see, they are all on single layer. Then you again go to filter, uh, you go to blur, and then you go to motion blur. This time don't apply too much of a blur, okay? So try to keep it a little bit in control. So I think 900, yeah, around 900,000 is good. Uh, you can cut it down a little, 750, yeah, then hit okay. So the most difficult part is done. After that, you go and activate layer zero, you turn it on select it and you change its blending mode to where is it color dodge then you need to make a copy of this thing so you go and press ctrl j now we need to remove layer mask from this one too so you activate your layer mask right click and you select apply layer mask this is important okay apply your layer mask then do this step for this you go to filter you go to blur and then you go and select motion blur and apply it enough so it covers the entire area uh, so yeah 1500 looks good uh, then go uh, and hit ok now we need to make another copy of it so it looks more brighter so you go and press ctrl j so we have another copy 
but this time you turn down the opacity uh, to somewhere around 30 40 percent so it's not very crazy or something like that now we need to make sure that she fades really nice in the background see this hair and this stuff it doesn't looking good so you go and this is our main layer right so you activate the layer mask you select your brush tool from here and here you make sure your color is black right and here your hardness is zero percent after that on your layer mask you go and start removing this stuff from here so it starts blending with the background see this motion blur layer will help you uh, so now I'm gonna go and remove it a little bit from here and there. Don't go too overboard. Now after this, go and create a new adjustment layer on top of everything. And you go and select Vibrance and make it colorful. Pretty damn colorful, okay? Uh, something like this. We will need this. Uh, so 80% looks good then you go and create a new blank layer from here uh, you go and also make sure it's black and white here right then you go to filter you go to render and then you select clouds once your clouds are ready you go to filter blur and then you go and select motion blur uh, somewhere around 1400 1500 is working good for me and then go and hit ok now go and change its blending mode to color dodge. Now it's obviously way too bright. So you go and change the opacity to somewhere around like 50% or something like that. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Now it's time to create the sparkles. And to do that, you go and create another blank layer. Select your paint bucket tool uh, and your color is black. Fill it. Now you go to filter, noise and add noise. Now 300 is like way too much so go around like 200 or something like that yeah that's good and hit ok. After that again go to filter and this time go to filter gallery. In the filter gallery you go to artistic menu and you select dry brush. So at first it will look something like this but it's really rough. So you need to make a copy of it. For that click on this little button here so it will make a copy of it. See now it looks much much better let's zoom out. Now it's still too much so go and click one more time and this is looking better now go and hit ok. So the sparkles are here then you go and change its blending mode to color dodge so you can see it on the woman. Now go take your sparkles and you put them under your model so they are a little less distracting. Then you go to filter you go to blur and you know <laughs> motion blur. But this time make sure it's minimum, not too much. See, uh, I think this one uh, 1615, uh, yeah, that looks good and hit OK. After that, go and create another new blank layer and make sure this layer is under your original model layer here, right? This one blank layer. Then you select your brush tool uh, and you change the color to white and make sure it's fairly big. Uh, this big should be good. You do a click here, a little bit of click here. Then you go to filter, <laughs> blur, motion blur. That's a lot of motion blur. And then you apply a lot of blur. Uh, so this looks good, hit OK. And then change its opacity to somewhere around like 30% or something until it looks good. Uh, so 25 looks good, uh, turn it on and off, yep. So the effect is almost ready and now we need to apply adjustment layer. So for that I'm gonna go and uh, in adjustment layer select my favorite curves and make sure your curves is on top of everything. So in the curves uh, I'm gonna make it a little bit brighter from here uh, that like that and then I'm gonna crush it down here so we can get rid of unnecessary white area. Uh, so this is your choice how much do you like how much you don't. So I think uh, this works good for me. Then you go to your red uh, and here I'm gonna add a little bit of blue. So see the white looks much better now. Uh, then I'm not gonna do anything in green, direct blue. And in the blue I'm gonna turn down this one for a moment. And then I'm gonna make a dot here and I will drag it up here. So we have that, that really nice contrasty look. Uh, and like that. And now we can go and close it. Now for some reason your effect is too much bright, you can do two things. Uh, your main layer, this one with the strokes, uh, you go and turn down opacity of that if you like a little less bright. Or you can go and select your cloud layer and you can turn down opacity for that. You have two options to control your brightness. 
and I also want to make my strokes a little bit smaller because they are way too big so I'm gonna select my strokes press ctrl T uh, hold my alter key and I'm gonna make them a little bit smaller uh, go and confirm it so yeah that's it and this is the final output and let me zoom in a little bit so you can have a better look so this is the final output and I can move it a little bit on top uh, so I don't have that dark portion on the face here yeah so perfect so that's it <laughs> and I really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions feel free to ask me in the comment section below. Till then goodbye take care and have some fun with Photoshop.